does not have his own skates, does not have his own costume. You're looking at a skater or like any athlete with outdoor equipment in foreign territory, traveling all that way around the world to Hai Chung, skating to never enough. I admire this young man's courage. Mark, that's really quite extraordinary in many ways. The edge jumps with someone else's boots are the most difficult because that edge is such a fine cutting edge and it's hard to adjust to that balance. The toe jumps though a little bit easier. He did a, delivered a beautiful triple toe, triple toe. Absolutely, and the fall on the bracket turn in the step sequence, I am, I could be 99.99% .99 confident that that is a reaction to wearing somebody else's skates. And the fact that he was able to deliver what he did, not only what he did in terms of managing the triple-triple, but managing emotionally and mentally to put yourself out there as hard enough as it is without you skates, but all respect him for giving it a go. Total respect. And that, and that double axle near the end of the program, you can tell he shoved that edge a little bit in order to have some, some security rather than a clean edge takeoff. Yeah. Because he can't control those clean edges as much on that. Just... Remark when I was trying to think of an analogy, what it would be like, and okay, this is silly analogy. People laugh at me or whatever. But have you ever seen those videos where they have animals like a cat or a dog, and they put little booties on them? <laughs> the animal, the animal can't walk. They can't walk like normal because it feels all awkward. So if you put something foreign on your feet, and then you've got to go do a jump at you know, you know, 15 kilometers an hour and launch oh. yourself into the air, that's hard enough in your own boots, let alone someone yeah. else. Yeah, just extraordinary. Like, my mind boggles at the bravery. And then even, like, things I was not noticing when he was doing the flying camel spin, like, he's wearing somebody else's costume. It was riding up. Like, even, I mean, amazing that somebody's been kind enough to give him the costume. But then 
the discomfort of worrying about you know your costume riding up that in itself that's another factor that's something to contend with so he's had heaps of pressure well this uh, sport in general even many things in life teach you lessons how to cope in unusual circumstances and this young man just graduated from this <laughs> course very very nicely 45.89 for Chiu Pei Chung from Hong Kong in second in the short program now the only thing with that Ted is that then he is back to back with Connor Bree.